We're talking about the results of the Female Nation Survey, and um, today we're talking about sex, uh, specifically infidelity and cheating. And in the studio with me, I have Dorothy Black, um, sex journalist and Women24 sex columnist. Hello. Nice to have you here. <laughs> nice to have you here. Twenty-four percent of women um, say that they know that their husbands have had affairs. Yes. Do you think this number increases um, with the reality? Like the, the ones who don't know? I think those are just the ones that know. Yeah, yeah like, but no, I think those are reality, just the ones. The, yeah. the option was you suspect, yeah. you know, yeah. or he, he didn't. And this was just the you know. You know, I think the so. percentage is quite a bit higher. I, I'm looking at sort of dating sites at the moment just for, you know, shits and giggles, obviously. But I think there are a lot more that, that I think the percentage is a lot higher. So you don't think women are being paranoid if they say they think? No, and I think, no. And I think a lot of women who, those, I think there are a lot of women who know that their men are cheating, but they, they, they don't, don't want, want to. to. Mm. I find it very suspect when either parties, whether it's a guy, whether it's a husband or the wife, turn around and say they had no idea. Yes. I Somehow find that you very must suspect. You, there must be... Unless must your partner is, a, is an excellent pathological an liar excellent. and a spy or something. You but I doubt that. You know, there's always... The relationship is breaking down way before the, the affair actually happens. An affair is just a symptom. And I think there are loads of relationships that are in crisis. And I, so I'm not surprised when that, that number should be a lot higher, I think. What about serial cheaters? Because I, I agree that in most cases an affair is a symptom and it's a symptom mm -hmm. of a relationship. But you do get people who say right. that they're very happy in a relationship, but they've got right. affair after affair after right. affair. And you know what? Kind of that weird yeah. disconnect. And I think it's I think it's so easy to to judge that as being bad, as being like you know the the person, whether it's a male or female, that they're somehow wrong for for being serial cheaters. And the lying aspect of it is not great. But yes, the dishonesty bit right, is, is not isn't great. great. But I wonder if it's just. It just isn't the case of the fact that they're not in the relationship model that works for them. You know, we're, we're very accustomed to one relationship model, and that is like extreme monogamy between a man and a woman mm. forever and ever until we die. And a lot of people just don't... It doesn't work for many it people. It doesn't work for I many people. I mean, if people. you look at these stats, it's quite clear. Right. So I would reckon that those people that do find themselves as serial cheaters, really what they should be in is an open relationship. Mm. An open relationship or a polyamorous relationship. Um, but because it isn't kind of sanctioned by society. Exactly, and it's not very easy to just put your hand up there and say, right. who's going to be with me while I'm right, going right, to right. be screwing other people. Yeah. It's, it's not loving. Loving, loving. sorry. <laughs> <laughs>